Good morning, Acadiana, and welcome to another edition of Morning Coffee with Big Al. And Special T. We're happy to be coming to you from Cypress Street Radio, AOC Community Media's streaming broadcast. Look for us every morning of the week. Our 8 a.m. show will start your morning off right. That's right in a good way. Not right, it's in radical right. We bring you good ideas, good pastimes, and who knows what else. With With a progressive progressive flair. flair. Our 7 p.m. stream is a great backdrop for some decaf and peace of mind. So either way, get your beverage of choice, whether it's stronger or weaker. It could be coffee, tea, crown, (laughs) water, ginger beer, (laughs) whatever you like. Yeah, get that and uh, sit back and enjoy the show. Merry yeah, Christmas. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, Merry, Merry Holiday. Happy Christmas. Happy, happy Christmas. Holiday. Happy Hanukkah. All yeah, those things. Passover. Thanks. I think that's during Easter. <laughs> I think there's 22 or 23 different things celebrating. Yeah. Even though I guess we're having a, oh, I don't know if it's official yet, if it's been officially declared, but I wonder if we're having a official war on saying Merry Christmas this year. I haven't heard too much about that yet, but uh, are not being able to say Merry Christmas, I guess. To I think there's a, 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 a general encouragement to ex- to say happy holidays because it includes everything which is okay but you know a Christmas tree is a Christmas tree I think um, this is America but, but you can you, <laughs> and it's like the winter equinox yeah and and it used to be like a pagan it's, holiday okay, okay now, what, I'm what, gonna what, have what? to stop I'm gonna have to stop you right there why it's not an equinox. This what is, is what it? I was thinking the other day when you said this. It's a solstice. Solstice. Yeah. Do I get the opposite thing or something? Yeah, the equinoxes are at the spring and the fall. Okay, and so this so is the winter wanna, and the summer is the solstice. Well, right, exactly. <laughs> Man, it's, it's, I got my year all mixed up. No wonder I'm, you know, being late for things and missing appointments. I'll do it. I mean, getting those. <laughs> I'm in the spring and the summer. I mean, the spring and fall, everybody else is in the winter and summer. It's well, kind of a crazy year. I was just thinking about that the other day. and, and the, well, I'm glad uh, you looked it up. Well, I did because I was thinking, and I couldn't, solstice, it was just escaping me, you know, for some yeah, reason. Yeah. I was thinking, no, it's not an equinox, because the, the equinox, that somehow is derived from the equal parts of day and night. You know, when night and day are equal. So right. this so is now it's like extreme it. difference. Right. It's the the so days are short you, and the nights are long. Yeah, all of you out there now. that you know want to increase your uh, vocabulary, now you've learned, you know, some new definitions to use yeah. which I did not do. Which is what well, we it's, last time. I'm sure you knew it, but it just, it's, it's like, because I just couldn't think of it at the time, but I was thinking something, I don't think this is an equinox. Yeah, but, uh, I, and that makes sense. Equal time, equinox. So exactly. You do that thing in your head, and solstice, okay. hey, I don't know what the... I'm not sure, right? I haven't about that. looked up the derivation on that or anything, but I'm sure it's from some sort of Latin or something like that. But, yeah. Uh, I did the same thing this morning with a financial term. I was talking about like the the differences between one currency and another, and I was like exchange, exchange. But it's conversion. You, to, you do the conversion between one and the other to change it to be alike. Exchange is actually actually just changing the money, you know. But actually doing the calculation is a conversion. Hmm. I never really made much of a distinction on that. I mean, I'm was thinking about the exchange rate. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, but I guess it is a conversion. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't. I guess I don't see it's one of them financial things to have to deal with. Yeah. The. Um, <sighs> hmm. 
Yeah, well, been... I had some excitement this morning before we got on radio. Oh, really? I had a war between the cats and the dogs, or the dog. Yeah. One dog, yeah. three cats. And all of a sudden, I was talking on the phone, and it was like, oh, my gosh, it's going to be flying fur. Yeah. We know it. <laughs> and I was right in the middle. The cat was growling, and the dog was, like, barking. And it's just like, oh, Lord, we're in for a Well, as long as your cat wasn't barking, I mean, that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't know what she would have Then you might have to suspect spitting, some spitting, demonic growling. possession. And and when I would pet her, she'd spit, and then when I wouldn't, she'd growl. So mm. that's crazy. Well, <laughs> it is. It is that holiday time of year. So I think I think family members are prone to have their little outbursts too during this time of year. Some of them, yeah, hopefully not that. too many. There's Hopefully everybody a, will have peace on peace around the table. <laughs> there's a guy, and I think I've told you about him before. Who's one of our co-broadcasters on uh, YouTube? Okay. Except he probably does a little more. He probably has a few more fans than we do. But oh, uh, really? Who is this? <laughs> Paul Bo of, Wall and Jacob. Bo of the fifth column. I mean, this guy is really good. Okay. I mean, he's. Uh, he's I mean, not he, on AOC. No, no, he's not on AOC. He's just on YouTube. So but, he's uh, like, he's like syndicated. Well, I don't think. I mean, he just does his own show. I mean, you, you know, you can do that. Some people make uh, a fair amount of money. Yeah, uh, they get enough viewers. Right. Exactly. Because of the advertisement, or they might have uh, Patreon communities and stuff like that. You know where people pay to uh like i mean you can to pay subscribe? like well i mean it, it's like if somebody wanted to sub subscribe to our show mm -hmm. i mean they could we could create a patreon deal and they could pay three dollars a month or five dollars a month I'm, well actually yeah. i think that's <laughs> forbidden in aoc we can't oh it might be yeah but it very well might be we since, would uh, be ousted by like the scruff of our necks and thrown yeah. out the door because yeah. that is very much not allowed this is a totally non-profit no advertising type of a venue yeah i'm trying to think i guess i guess i haven't seen hadn't even thought about that because, uh, you know, sometimes, I mean, if an advertisement comes up, I just wait for the five seconds to click out of it, you know, if possible. Yeah, me too. But, but uh, the, I don't think I've ever seen ads come up with our show. So, mm -hmm. Hey, I still think you're in the wrong season. You need to have something green or, or grayer or bluer behind you. <laughs> how about how about something with snow or something like that? Yeah, something with well, I don't think we're going to have any snow this year. Not well, here. Well, it's um But yes, last year was crazy. But that was in yeah. February. January. Yeah, it's uh uh I don't know, it's still kind of well, we're still technically in autumn, I think. So yeah, not maybe until the ne maybe 22nd next year. of December, I think, starts. 20, 21st, I think. This 21st year. of December I starts think. winter. Yeah, I think that's. So, how right. far away are we? Like two days? Oh, a few days. Four and days. by the time people see, well, I mean, they may be seeing this tomorrow, <laughs> which I guess if you don't know it's when today 18, is, 18, then tomorrow. 19, yeah, yeah. 18, so, it's still fall. Yeah. But only three days, and you're going to be in the in the beginnings of winter. Yeah, I think it'll be. I don't know if it's already up to eighty today here, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all yeah. of you that are in the real snow country, eat your heart out. Uh, yeah. Actually, my okra is blooming again. Oh really? Yeah, it's got flowers all over it. It's crazy. Wow. I, yeah, that's. Uh, does I didn't take a picture of it. I mean, it's really bizarre. It's got it's got blooms everywhere. But I mean, it's not likely that it'll actually 
I don't know if this out. lasts, you know, a few weeks. It, it very well could, you know, because it's still got some little buds on it. I mean, the start of little okras. So, hmm. it's well, Louisiana uh, for you. Yeah. Uh, my, yeah. My eggplant is dead. My cabbage are starting to grow and my white radishes and beets are looking good. Uh. Uh, I need to plant some more so I can last the season before it starts bolting or something, you know? Oh, yeah? I think so. I think it'd be good to plant some more in another bed. Huh. But I need to clean house first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can relate to that. Yeah. Uh, I'm, my, my autumn wonderland here. Yeah, my... Um, my, uh, I, I, I am going to take a little respite from Louisiana. And so the, uh, the cat sitter will be coming in. And I think I've got all my supplies ready, but I want it to be where it's very, where there's, where there's not going to be anything broken when I come back home like there was this last time. Yeah. I mean, they, they knocked over my, um, my KRVS, one of my favorite KRVS uh, coffee cups. Mm. Yes. I glued it back together, so now it's going to be a planter. Okay. Right. You know, it's got like some creases in it and a few places missing because most of it was big pieces, but there was one piece that absolutely shattered. Yeah, well, you know, in Japan, I think that's a big deal. You know, when you have something like a cup or a vase or mm -hmm. maybe even a vase, which is kind of like a vase, except shorter, I think. Or maybe it's longer since it's a long I vase. think it's la-di-da. <laughs> I think that's the only difference. But, uh, the, uh, but they put stuff back together with uh, gold. I'm oh. not sure. Yeah, 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 where you accentuate the um, the uh, faults. Right, that's what right. I need to do in the floor of my house. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a there's a place that is a stress point, but it's not a cracked slab. I've had the foundation guy look at it, and he says this hasn't moved. You know, it's not cracked. It's just a stress line. And uh, Sally was saying I should fill it with gold. That there's this. <laughs> form of art that you accentuate the um, the irregularities of something yeah and make it a focal point instead of a you know something that people think something wrong with it it's really not yeah it would be uh, it was it, it might up the right. value in, in yeah, yeah. something that really knows something about something but you know I mean, well that and just the, the you know the price of gold for per ounce you know it's about mm -hmm. like eighteen hundred dollars an ounce it might take a few ounces to do that but uh i think so and and, and there you know it depends on how deep the holes are oh yeah yeah and that's pretty thick it's a thick part foundation it's like 16 inches at least and the and the most shallow part would be 16 inches which is at really? least two inches more than everybody else in the neighborhood no, that's, that's, it's a good, uh, you know, it's it's a, that's it's very a thick. Good it's house. A, <laughs> yeah, that's very thick if it's that thick. Cause yeah, it is. The, uh, I, that, uh, that was one of my stipulations when I built here. I said, I want a, I want a 16 inch foundation. Huh, what? Now next to me is like a 10 inch foundation. Well, even 10 inches is, I mean, that's uh, that's pretty thick for a slab. I, I mean, don't know. I've heard, you know, that, you know, think. You've heard that's standard, huh? Like, I've I heard that, it, like, 14, 12 is. I've heard that 12 is. I don't think so. But, uh, I mean, I'd have to, I would be surprised if it was. But, you know, the I could be mistaken. Why don't you yeah. look that up, too? Look, well, I'll, I'll take that under advisement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, um, we're going to have a foundation guy come over in the new year to look at some stuff. 
And, and while they're here looking at the stuff, we're going to break out some good bottle of wine. And mm. Just have a lot of conversation and stuff. <laughs> That sounds good. That's like, that's like, you know, really getting the sommelier to invite you over for dinner. Yeah. After you make sure that he partakes in a lot of what he's talking about. <laughs> well, I'm, I remember seeing that and, and the, um, you know, it could be probably patched to where it wouldn't be even noticeable, I would think. But, uh, mm -hmm. The um, because you know not being a structural problem that's um, you know it makes it I guess really kind of insignificant if somebody understands that yeah it's true but so, the thing is it's 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 stained and then you'd have to try and match the stain and right then, right it would have to be that would have to be. Bother. Yeah, that's true too. But uh, so, what's new and improved today? Let me think. Um, you know, so many things are kind of you know wrapping up. We do have uh, Moncus Park that opened up last night. Party in the park for Christmas. Christmas in the park. Uh, oh, really? You can find some little things about it where people posted going there um, uh, last night. There were like some music and stuff, and it continues, I think, for the next four or five days. Twelve days. Through the weekend, for sure. And they have okay. the, um, the Christmas trees downtown in Park International. Okay. Okay, and that's nice. They got like crafts and things for the kids, and I think Santa comes at a certain time. And uh, I don't know if they've decorated the windows downtown, but and then you know it's always fun to go through um, like uh, the East and West Bayou Parkway and look at the. Oh yeah. Since they're all decorated, that's an old <laughs> standard for people that are my age, at least. That used to be the big highlight as you just drive around and look at the lights and didn't cost anything except the gas so maybe you should go on your bicycle just yeah. watch out for the crazies who don't watch where they're going and they might hit you yeah because they're watching lights mm -hmm, exactly <laughs> so yeah i when i was riding my bike in places that were dangerous i just ride through people's yards it was well out of the way in the road yeah and, uh, it, it usually wasn't anything to worry about i guess unless they had a mean dog in the front yard which they're not supposed um, to have. <laughs> yeah. Not on a, at least not a, not where they, not on a leash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, I've, I can remember riding around looking at Christmas lights. On your bicycle? No, not on my bicycle. Never <laughs> on my bike. Always with your family, on a car. With your family when you were a little yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah, with, uh, I had a little recorder. I may, I may have told you this already, but uh, I don't think so. I had a little, like a, a mini, um, you know, it was about, let's see if we can get it on my hand. Yeah, about that big. The it size of a, a business card? Yeah, right. I, well, um, it was a micro recorder. Okay. And I had, before we went, I had made a, uh, made a, a recording of oohs and ahs. So I could just play my recorder. <laughs> you should bring that to the um, 4th of July too. Well, you know, I don't even know where that little recorder is. I mean, it had one, it seemed like it had one AAA battery that ran the whole thing. I mean, it was very, I mean, it was literally probably right. smaller than a business card as far as the, you know, those two dimensions. But you know. uh, did you record the oohs and ahs off like a television show or did you? No, I made them myself. I mean, they were, they were genuine. <laughs> so it sounded like me. <laughs> I could just press, <laughs> I could just press play and, you know. <laughs> did your parents laugh when they hear that? <laughs> well, this was, this was actually, this was with my, oh, I think this was with, I don't know, maybe either or both of my 
previous wives and kids and stuff like that. Got? But, Ow. How many you got? How many did you have? Just a couple. Just a couple, okay. Yeah, but uh, the, oh, it was kind of, kind of amusing. It kind of makes me wonder where that little, it's a neat little recorder. But, uh -huh. uh, Maybe you'll have to get back in touch with those gals and see if any of them still have it. So can, <laughs> yeah, I don't even, <laughs> I mean, I know. And if something that really, you know, it, interesting happens, they go, ooh, <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. That's yeah, I always thought that was kind of funny, you know, because it's, and, but, you know, sometimes people do put on a nice display, but it's kind of, uh, Oh, I, I quite find it brings back memories of Dallas when I used to live in Dallas 60 years ago, you know, and the, some of the places that uh, some of the, I mean, just had really elaborate Christmas decorations. They become, I mean, they become well known, you know, the, the places that do that, like um, in Scott, uh, they have techno on Westgate and it's actually synchronized with a station that you can listen to and uh, on the radio, regular radio. Yeah. They, they give you the uh, call letters, you go there and the, the lights are flashing and changing in time to the music, which is pretty cool. That's on Westgate. Um, gosh, on the west side of Westgate, um, close mm. to... Uh, all it, between Olive Vista and Old Spanish Trail. And you can hmm. park across the street, play your radio, and watch the lights. Oh, I that, mm, mm, I'm wondering if we're about ready for a little break where we can just mull over the who we're going to bring with us to park our car. You know, we used to do that with um, going to the airline, to the, to the airport, and watch the planes take off. Yeah. That used to be another one of those freebies that you could do. So, yeah, so did that. Christmas lights, airplanes, and window shopping. Yeah, That's I think three uh, free entertainments that you can put on your list on a on a on a shoestring budget. Yeah, kind of like uh, watching the jets land on Wayne's World or something. That's in and a then, That's a movie. Yeah. A TV show? No, Wayne, it's, it's a two movie. movies. Actually, they made two movies, and that was, uh, I believe that was one of the uh, little things they did in one of them. But, oh, uh, okay. They, oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> it was, <laughs> no, I was just thinking about the dialogue, but uh, the, uh, where I don't Wayne, know anything uh, about that. You know, I don't have television and I you never saw I Wayne's World never saw Wayne's World I guess I have to check it out at the library <laughs> well, <laughs> educated like the rest of my generation well it's it's um it's pretty funny I mean I think it's the second one okay it's, uh, a lot of takeoff oh, look at there ah there we go <laughs> yeah, I don't know but. yeah it's uh but it's it's um a lot of it is a big now I, I just yeah. had a, an angel come down and show me a visual yeah. of what Wayne's World looked like. Those guys well, look familiar. They must have had a commercial somewhere along the line. Well, it's you can borrow uh, that copy. <laughs> okay. um, oh, what is it, uh, Mrs. Robinson? Some of it is a is a big takeoff on Mrs. That, that's, the that's, Dustin that's, Hoffman movie. Right, right. I saw right. that. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is. It's a parody, you know. Some of it is a parody of that, and it's okay. it's pretty funny if you know that. And okay. I guess it's pretty funny even if you don't. But if sometimes you, I just do, do, it's even I've funnier. I guess. Yeah. Too many yeah, movies I, make me cry. Yeah. Well, this one. This one I might cry. probably make you laugh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so sad that we 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 devolved evolved into this. <laughs> well, this one is. I mean, it has. Um, oh. It has some pretty good parodies, I think. But uh, looking, is that what he looks like normally? I'm trying to think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's really interesting. Yeah, those guys look familiar. They must have done some commercials or something. 
Oh, well, they've, they've done... Uh, oh, Mike Myers. I mean, you know Mike Myers. I mean, you've heard of Mike Myers, huh? Well, who is he? <laughs> I think he was on... I think it was on Saturday Night Live. I mean, okay, I, I, I used I to watch be. that. Yeah, and, but the and, uh, and Laugh In. Yeah, I don't think it was on Laugh In, but uh, okay. well, we're gonna have to talk about Mike Myers later because I think we're gonna take a break pretty soon. Yeah, it's getting about time for a break. I think I need a break. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, ta -ta let's for take now. Uh, a little take break. a break, and we'll we'll snow. be back with all our. Fans here. I think I got some after this word that from... I can share of kids playing in the snow machine. <laughs> How about that for some interesting footage? Okay. Bye, y'all. We'll be See back soon. Yeah, we'll be back. Hey, Acadiana creators, thanks for clicking on us. A lot of you have hit us up asking, we know how to get our content onto YouTube. Anybody can do that, but how the heck do we get our content onto AOC? Well, good news, y'all. We're going to show you how to join the cool club today and put your videos on AOC. That's two more channels full of viewers that you could be sharing your content with. So without further ado, let's play Submit Content. All right, so I have my video file here. It's the same one I can upload to YouTube. Now I'm going to go to this address, aocinc.org, or you can just search for AOC Community Media on any search platform. Anyway, when we're there, we're going to go hover over Make Media, and then we're going to click Submit Programming. Pro tip, bookmark this page, put it right next to your YouTube bookmark, then you're good to go. Click that button, select the file that you wanna upload, and hit the button. Now finish up the information form on the page you were previously on. Let's time lapse that. And click submit. Now you're good to go. Now you'll be reaching your local community in a couple more ways and boosting your likes and subscribers on YouTube. Win, win. If you have any questions, you can put them down below in the comments or use old school comments by calling us or emailing us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications with the little bell, and we will see you out there in media land. So that, that's a fun little thing of some cute kids jumping around in the fake snow. And yeah. I don't know whether we have any helicopter scenes or not, but maybe. Have you ever been in oh, a helicopter? Oh yeah, yeah. I've, uh, the last time I think was when I was working at Lake Charles and okay. uh, one of the helicopter, one of the offshore helicopter pilots took me for a ride. And uh, it's, Oh, it's pretty neat. You know, I mean, there are a um, lot of, I mean, I don't, I don't know how it compares now to what it was back then, but uh, there's uh What year was it? <laughs> oh, that would have been probably, I'd say roughly 30 years ago. Okay. You so don't know the was, year? Because I don't know the... Oh, well, I would say... If I were guessing, I'd say, you know, 91, something like okay. that. That would be, I mean, it could be a little bit later than that, but that would probably be a fair guess for that, you know, far back. Well, I have a big story with my helicopter flight. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Um, I was working in corporate, and we had just gotten um, one of those uh, emails or mem memorandums that said not to accept any gifts from any um, of the contractors, you know, okay. that yeah. they just didn't want you taking anything, no gifts. And uh, it was probably about a week or two later that um, one of our con building contractors, because I was working at a construction site for a... Um, 
is a mine and a, a new power plant that was in the center of Texas for powering Houston. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy uh, came in that was like, I guess the pilot and said, hey, does anybody want to go for a ride in a helicopter? I'd never been in one. So I was like, I do. I do. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, followed him out there. And, and I think, I don't think I was the only person in the helicopter. I don't really recall. But uh, anyway, we went up and um, we're like taking a, a view of the site. And uh, the pilot decided he would hover over one of the stacks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the helicopter starts vibrating, right? Like significantly. And then it starts shooting out like pellets, like styrofoam out of the air conditioner. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to die. And they're going to find out that I accepted this gift. From <laughs> but we made it down and nothing happened. But I, that was the first thing that came in through my mind was I was maybe not supposed to be up there in the first place and it might be my last day. What uh, What was the deal with the air conditioning? Did you ever find out? What the I have was? no idea. It was just really creepy because it really started spitting out white stuff. Interesting. Maybe that was ice or something. Styrofoam or... I, it wasn't cold. It was just... Really? Yeah, it was like, mm. it was like little tiny pellets of the things you pack with. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, you know, I, now that I was thinking about, you know, that we we're talking about helicopters, actually, I think that there was a later time in Hawaii. I was over in Hawaii, and uh, the uh, I was thinking about trading positions with the guy over there, and uh, the this was in Hilo, I believe, and uh, there was a helicopter you know, like a tourist helicopter service there where, you know, they take you for a 30 minute flight around the island, look at stuff and all that. But now that's uh, been thought to be kind of dangerous, isn't it? Like the, those, those little expeditions, like in Alaska and all, when you go into like balloons and planes and stuff, don't they have a lot of accidents? I don't know. I don't, I don't think the, I mean, the, this one, this particular one, I mean, I, I hadn't heard of any, uh, um, you know, excessive amount of accidents or anything, yeah. but it was a pretty neat flight. I mean, seeing the, um, you know, the volcanic activity and the lava flows and stuff like that. Yeah. Now, but you know, see, now that is one thing you have to be aware of over there is uh, with some of the volcanic activity, depending on what it is, right. you have to be careful because you might be getting into an area where there's a reduced amount of oxygen. And oh, I never thought of that. Yeah, well, there was a helicopter pilot or two that hadn't thought of it either. And uh -huh. they, uh, and you know, the engine's not gonna run without oxygen. Gotcha. And uh, wow. so it was, uh, you know, obviously caused some problems. But you uh, know, the only thing I would have thought of was if it like erupted while you were like above it, you know. Well, but, that would probably be bad too. No joke. <laughs> but uh, the, um, it was a neat flight and, and the, uh, and there was, you uh, one lava flow that went into the ocean there. And, a lot uh, of steam. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of steam. I think that uh, magma, I think it's 1,500 degrees or something like that. I mean, wow. it's pretty warm. But uh, the... Uh, but, uh, um, I don't know, helicopters, I think, are reasonably safe. They may not have the as good of a um, record as fixed wing, but that I don't know. I haven't looked into yeah. it. My brother was an airman on um, helicopters with the Coast Guard, 
And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and this um this helicopter that um Santa Claus came in over in Scott that we yeah. might have viewed a little bit of. Um it looked really old. So I think I'm gonna send that to my brother and ask him if he knows anything about that particular helicopter. Because it was like all mm. oh, gray. It was almost like it was from World War II. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it really looked like it. It looked like an old piece of machinery. They didn't have too many helicopters in World War II, but... Oh, uh, okay. Maybe... Maybe not too Vietnam, far. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Korea, Vietnam, something like that. I mean... Korea possibly would have been late, uh, older. Yeah, possibly. But uh, now they're... Um, they're pretty handy and with the... Um, um, they're starting to do things now that fly like helicopters with, uh, you know, multiple electric, you know, battery powered electric motors turning propellers. That, wow. uh, oh yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, um, pretty well, that's interesting. Good. I mean, it'd be good to have everything running on batteries. I think if we could, well, except for so. what do you do when you, when they run out of, I mean, can you recycle the batteries to where they turn into new batteries again? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I'm trying to think if it was on our show or some somebody was talking about uh, the blades on the big um, wind generators, you know, the mm -hmm. windmills or... You know, the turbines. Turbines, turbines, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> where you have to worry about getting... Uh, windmill cancer but uh <laughs> the uh <laughs> i've not heard about that uh, oh you you haven't heard that no seriously no oh, okay. i haven't well it was uh a comment made by uh former high level Republican executive friends <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is his name but, Clay Higgins? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't Captain Clay, but I'm okay. sure he'd uh I'm sure he'd probably go along with it. But uh, it's um but they are recycling those. I mean they may not have for a while. I mean they had this big oh yeah, like a football field or something like that. This this was the picture. You know, I don't even know if it was uh a real picture or something that somebody had just, you know, Photoshop, you know, yeah, amazing yeah, what you can do with Photoshop, but, uh, the, uh, and they were burying, cause you know, those blades, some of those blades are. They're magnificent. Oh yeah. Well, they're, you know, I've seen them driving down, uh, not, you know, I've seen them as a load on a, the back of on a, a, on a, a truck. A, yeah. Truck. And yeah, they're yeah. so long. Oh, they are, yeah. And, uh, but the, um, oh, they can be recycled, you know, I mean, because there's, uh, I mean, they were, I think they were actually cutting these up and mixing them into concrete because the fibers and stuff helps reinforce the concrete. But, you know, I, I guess, uh, um, I mean, and I'm a firm believer in recycling, believe me. I mean, oh, me it's, it's the, uh, I mean, with a name like Roloff? With <laughs> 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 Mark Pope made a joke about that. Because I was oh, talking, really? Yeah, he was talking about how my, that was the only argument that my, or like issue that my husband and I didn't agree with. I mean, I was oh, yeah? always been a big recycler and he thought it was a waste of time. Um, and Mark, I always mentioned that to Mark Pope, and he said, well, that's kind of funny. He'd probably turn over in his grave and <laughs> roll off as some kind of a, a thing that, you know, they collect things in and recycle them. So. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Well, it's, uh, I guess I'll just take your word on that one. Yeah. But, uh, a little the, embellishment, uh, but hey. Huh? Maybe a little embellishment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Might, be, might not be that that uh, romantic. Uh, anyway. Well, uh, I guess that's pretty much in the eye of the beholder, too. Uh -huh. But uh, so the 
What all we have? No voting coming up anytime soon around here that I know of. Well, they, they're they're still working on the redistricting, from what I understand. Where they ah, did the yeah, good point, show, good point. and there's uh, there's all sorts of reasons why certain folks do not want to make any changes to make it more accessible. There's a there is a group that really just wants to remain where they can assure themselves a vote, which you know right. that. I wish that they had some sort of a random way to do the to do the mapping, you know, without human intervention that would really yeah. take it and make it equal. And I'm assuming that they do have that capability, but there's a strong resistance. And well, I don't really see it. I mean, if you don't want right. if you don't have anything that people well, that most people are sane people want, then you have to make it to where it makes it difficult for them to vote. And the, uh, it's, uh, oh, you know, you can definitely bias a particular district to yeah. where, you know, you get the result that you want, but you know, it, it's uh, another way of disenfranchising people. <sighs> Which I really wish they take the human element out of it, and just and just well, make it where it's reasonable, you know, to just take an area where it has a kind of a, a similar population uh, count, and uh, that they utilize some sort of thing that shows sort of a percentage of how many people vote, you know, in that area, and just um, block it, you know, make it in, that's a that's a district. And where it's not, you know, um, it's not convoluted to where it looks like you've got some sort of a checkerboard. Yeah, yeah. I've seen those. I have too. Scott used to be like that. In fact, the, actually the city, the city itself is kind of like that. It's interesting. They do have islands of incorporated areas. And then they have these, uh, like, um, donuts of places that aren't incorporated around really? them. Yeah. Mm. Uh, one instance is um, like Il Khan, the, the little area that's right by the road that is the education center has managed to be annexed. Uh -huh. But the whole apartment thing around it, at least in a U, is not. Mm. So they've disenfranchised the um, people in the apartments. Well, but they're not able to, I mean. They don't want, the I don't think they want the cost or the, the population to be part of their makeup. It's, it's unfortunate, you know, I mean, it has changed from, I mean, it used to be a high crime area and I, and I think now it's just poverty. Yeah. Which you know, of course little families is, uh, that uh, don't have a lot of little families that you know are day day laborers, are the parents, and they just don't have a lot. Yeah, that contributes to crime. Not always. Not if you have services that meet the needs, you know, or try to have services that meet the needs. And they had um, they had gotten approved for USDA uh, uh, commodities and stuff. Oh yeah, that helped. But now the Catholic Church has taken over the um, taken back the uh, St. Joseph's Diner, which was where Second Harvest was doing uh, sending their chefs to do the frozen meals to okay. distribute in our area. But they want it back. I mean, I don't know. It's like. The nice thing to do. Yeah. Sort of. I don't know. Well, uh, everybody needs certain things. I mean, there's certain um, requirements for humans, you know, like 
food, water, shelter. clothing, shelter, you know, just basic things. And, you know, it's an indication of how good the economy is. When, yeah. Uh, well, uh, inflation's going up. Does that mean the economy's better? Well, but see, that's not really true. I mean, there there are that's some things. Saying. There are certain things that are costing more. Mm -hmm. But Gasoline. that's, and you know, if you want, I mean, you know, inflation is a consistent rise in prices. Mm -hmm. But you have all this supply chain stuff, the inflation stuff. You know, this is all engineered. I mean, it's it's like if you have uh, profit taking. Well, it's profit taking. You know, price gouging. There's a lot of. Uh, I mean, it's like. I mean, it, it's not exactly the same, but I mean, you know, when there's a hurricane and. Right, you know, and that's, gas that's and an offense that you know huh? that that can that there's consequences if you're caught doing it. Well, there are some consequences, but see, and that's the, um, you know. And there should be. I mean, mm -hmm. I can understand that if somebody's not going to, they don't see themselves getting any gas for, you know, a couple of weeks or a month or something like that, then they want to get whatever money they can get out of the gas they have. Right. But then on the other hand, that could be subsidized at the federal level because you know, all this is going to happen. It's like a big insurance policy, you know, when you get right down to it. And the, uh, um, when you have, oh, natural disasters, I mean, just like in what, Tennessee and Kentucky recently. Oh, man. I mean, that's a, and, you know, from what I understand, they had some of the companies there telling people, if you leave, you're fired. Well, that I was know. the issue with that candle manufacturing yeah. place that was like leveled by the tornadoes yeah yeah and uh, i mean see now that's i mean they wouldn't have had any idea that was going to happen but still well but nonetheless if, if you have um people that are worried you know, i mean you know because it was i mean that's well that's at uh, the northern part of the line that came through when we were having our little running event right over here and the northern part of that was very that was some pretty severe weather and uh you know obviously you know that, it's was, falling. Saturday. I don't know. that was saturday but that was yeah. like days after the thing went through kentucky because i think that the, that that storm that system when it did all the damage it was the wednesday prior was I it believe. i believe it was well i'm not sure i thought it was I thought it was the same system that that well, we it, just you know, caught moved. some. <laughs> it has to, you know, it takes its time. Yeah. We 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 had wind that whole week though. Well, it's you know, there's definitely. I mean, if people are going to build houses like they typically build them, you know, they're going to be susceptible to wind damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just that's just engineering, you know. I mean, yeah. they do stuff. I mean, like around here where you have the the different things to uh, oh hold the joists and rafters and studs and everything, make it a little bit more solid uh, construction. But it's only good enough for so much wind, and that's right, just right. It's interesting that that cob stuff that was used in North Carolina that I went and uh, took part in that workshop, it was all sand and rock and clay and organic and it was all mixed. And so the the walls were like like that thick. And yeah. you could dig out the area that you wanted to put the wires. Huh. So it was like solid. It was like there were no studs. Um, there, right. there were there were um, there were some beams in it, but mm -hmm. not the same as like the houses. It wasn't every sixteen feet or so. It was more like every eight feet. Well, uh, 
I mean, of course, there's also steel construction too. And that's what they used. They used steel or bamboo. Oh yeah. Mm, thick bamboo. It was strong, mm. real strong. Well, anyway, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. And then they and then they finished it with like lime. Really. Mm-hmm. And coconut? No, not that kind of line. The L Y M E line. No, it's L I M E, but uh, <laughs> I was just thinking about the song. Okay. I, the know line and the song. <laughs> I may not know the old movies, but I know a lot of the old yeah. songs. Well, uh, um, it's, it's the doctor song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, I hope that, speaking of doctors, I'm hoping that nobody has to go to the doctor that's listening to our show and that we all stay safe from the Omicron. Om, Oma, Omicron. Omicron. Or as our president says, I don't think Om, that's Omicron. a Greek letter, is it? I think it is, yeah. I, Omicron, I believe. I yeah, it's Omega. Like, yeah, it's not that, but it's... Uh, uh, it's about the uh, oh two thirds of the way through the alphabet, I think. Yeah, I, I'm I, not an expert on Greek alphabet. Yeah, I talked to I I had some interaction with my friend, a friend from South Africa, and asked about that virus, and she said she's not worried about it. Yeah, I'm like, well, I'm hoping you don't have to be worried. But. Yeah, I saw something today about, you know, all these people saying, oh, it's it's a fraud, you know, and I'm thinking, well, you know. I'm going to be on the other side. I'm going to wear my mask. Yeah. I'm going to wear my mask. Here it is. This is right. Keep it handy. Tell that to the 800,000 that. people that have died as a result of it, you know. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, are they fraud. dying from it? I guess so. Well, there's definitely, it's had an impact. There's no, And I mean, the sad thing is that they're saying that some people who are fully vaccinated are still getting it. Well, there's still some breakthrough, but it's, yeah. you know, the severity it's is not, not much less. Bad. Right, because uh, the immune system is already primed okay. to respond, which All is right. a good well, thing, I think. Let's wish everybody a safe, and healthy holiday. Holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Happy holidays, everyone. And see if you can get out and see some of the cool stuff that's free. And if you feel like it, maybe you can go to some of these parks and take part in some of the crafts and things that are going on. And just uh, be able to relax a little bit, you know, get away from the stress. That's my ambition. That's my wish for the holiday. No, stress free. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, I guess, you know, they say sometimes holidays are very stressful, but may your holidays. Yeah, I have to tell you so about my toll road experience when I. Yeah, yeah. The next time. Good. Okay. When we had our event. And of course, everybody needs to come to our Facebook. Facebook page. Site. Yes, our morning and coffee. Or AOC. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Bye, y'all. And have a good one. Happy holiday. Yeah. <laughs>